Hey guys, Robert Unicorn here, and today is the day that I start the new series called Breakdown, where I take a pretty good gameplay, not too spectacular, not too poor, and I go over what I did right and what I did wrong in a breakdown video. So the first thing I did was pick a very good class, it is a medium range weapon for a medium range map. And then also, as you can see here, I'm running down here, and the first thing you'll notice is right there. Someone threw a grenade coming from their spawn to over here. So what I immediately know is that someone's going to be charging this way. So then we'll see what I do. I see another grenade, so I'm like, okay, I know someone's coming. So I bounce a grenade off the wall and end up getting the kill, which is a very good move. So now I'm thinking someone's going to come from the middle, which they do, and I get the kill. I see the bomb's been planted up there, so I'm going to run up and make sure that the bomb planter is okay and they're not defusing. I'll look around to make sure everything's good, do a stun check. Now I'm going to pause it right here. A stun check is very important, especially in demolition or domination, when you think someone's coming near the bomb, because when you get a hit marker, it tells you whether someone's there. So I didn't get, so I did get a hit marker, and I immediately went over and got a kill or an assist. And now I'm just making sure no one else is coming, sort of protecting the bomb. Okay, so one thing I did wrong there was I didn't reload and make sure I had enough ammo to participate in the engagement correctly. I only had a, like one or two bursts and there were two guys so I couldn't have got the kills so I uh, lost two kills there when I could have got more. So now I'm running down the stairs looking over here to try to plant the bomb. And right now I should have noticed something. On the minimap there are guys surrounding me and I know that they're very close and there's no teammates around me to protect me. Well not a lot. So instead of trying to get the kill or killing them I go and plant the bomb and try to be greedy and try to get my lightning strike which did not pay off so now I'm gonna be running back up to B trying to get another plant or protect someone who's going to plant <laughs> and I accidentally bench the grenade off there but I still managed to get it out um, again um, a guy runs by me nothing really good there and um, so now I'm protecting the bomb carrier I mean the uh, bomb planter so I'm just going to sit up here and try to protect the bomb. That guy climbed through the window. I was holding facing that way. Nothing I could do. Yeah, in Demolition, you really want to find an area that you can sort of see both bombs and sort of just go back and forth trying to look and make sure that uh, both bombs are either uh, not being diffused or not being planted on, whether you're in offense or defense. So I'm just guarding both bombs here, and this is a little bit of a funny thing. It took a little bit for me to kill him. And then he does not cancel it, so I... Kill him. So this breakdown series I'll probably do about, I don't know, twice a week, once a week, we'll, we'll decide. Maybe I'll do breakdown Saturdays or something, you know, where I break down a video every Saturday. So now I'm making sure they're not defusing again, and the bomb explodes, and I want to get the last kill so I get the lightning strike, which I do. So that was the first round, there was mostly good things, and that's obviously reflected by my KD. Now, a lot of the good things we're doing is controlling the engagements. I'm not making all the fights fair and making so that way I have the advantage over the other person. Whether it's I see them first or a lot of my body is not being exposed and that really helping. So now I have the lighting strike and I'm just looking on the map to get an idea of where I'm going to call it in before I call it in so that way I don't have to think about it too much. So right off the bat, I throw a stun down there to try to slow him down and think that someone's going to be planting the bomb, so I just do a little bit of a check there. So I'm going to wait here and just let them, the uh, offense set up and come to me. So now I get my sentry gun. So now I'm going to run over here, and I did not see that guy coming, which I should have known. So now I know that they're over there more, so I'm going to protect that bomb, get right there, and get all the areas they could be coming in from their spawn. Now Lightning Strike does not get there in time, so the bomb has been planted, so now I see a guy over here, and I'm going to be shooting him. Not the smartest move, but I did luck out. I did shoot, and I didn't have a uh, good chance of killing him. Right there again, he was just running by. I shouldn't have shot, because it sort of tells the enemy where I'm doing. So again, if... Uh, you're not going to win the fight or he's going to run by and you're not going to kill him, don't shoot, cause especially with an unsuppressed weapon like the one I'm using now. So now, I, again, the same thing happened. I shot when I shouldn't have killed him, but that was just me missing. My B button didn't work there. I tried to crouch to get under it. So now we just have to control these two bombs and make sure they don't plant. See a guy up there, and I'm checking down here because I heard the bomb. Let's go back here really quick. 
and right to where the bomb is being planted. I'm going to turn up the volume. Ready? So you can hear that being planted right there. So now I'm going to place my sentry gun here to try to protect the bomb and uh, them in general. See that tactical insertion there? And I'm trying to break it and I end up using my sentry gun. And then the guy kills me. So that was a mistake right there. And those things are really the killers. They really ruin streaks and stuff. So here I got knifing, so I look over at my sentry gun, and now I replaced it over to just try to... I'm trying to find a better spot, because that spot clearly wasn't working since my sentry gun's being destroyed. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go over it and place it at B. And this is a really good spot for a sentry gun, because nothing can really get behind it. And right now is when I make make my fatal mistake. I heard someone destroy my sentry gun instead of turning around because in paying attention he ends up killing me from behind. So that was one of the mistakes I made in this game. But luckily I spawned near the bomb and I was able to stop him from planting. Next I'm going to try to help my teammates out by uh, guarding them or defusing the bomb while they do it. So I'm going to try to get up here and get an aerial view and take up the guys up here. So now that I cleared out the building I'm going to go for the defuse. So I'm running into the spawn, just trying to get a couple more kills, maybe get some more kill streaks, because there's not too much time left. And oh, right there, I threw a stun from one direction, ran around from a different direction of where the stun's coming from. So that guy saw the stun coming. He thought it was going to come from there, so he looked down there while stunned. He couldn't turn around fast enough when he didn't, when he saw I wasn't coming from there, and ended up killing him. So demolition is a lot like other games where you need to make sure you pay attention to your minimap at all times. Using a minimap is a very good advantage and that's why I don't really like playing hardcore like many other players do because the minimap is such a big advantage. So here we go, the time's about to run out, I get my last kill and that is it. So I win the game 2-0 and I have a pretty good KD at the end of it and if I do this a couple more times. Um, your KD can really improve if you guys care about that, but in the long run, you just have fun playing and you win a lot. Now, this is the second time that I should have been in the final kill cam, but I wasn't. I mean, it's no big deal. That's just weird how I got the first round I got a kill in the last second, and it wasn't in the kill cam. If you guys want to go back, and same here. But, okay, so this has been Robot Unicorn, the start of the breakdown series. Now, this one is probably not going to be as good as the other ones in the future, but once I get in the hang of breaking down the videos and the editing process and the audio recording with the editing. So this has been Robot Unicorn, guys. Thanks for watching.